Okay, so another review, another device, brand new device on the Commodore 64. This time it's this little gizmo and it's called the tape emulator. Um, and I purchased it off of eBay. The guy who's in Greece sells them on eBay, makes them up himself, really well made. Nice piece of kit. It's even got idiot, idiot proof labels on. Look, this side up. Uh, and what it does is it emulates the tape um, tape recorder. It plugs into your Commodore 64. And the sound, you can have any audio, audio device plug into that. So it's like the CAS adapt that I've re reviewed previously, but it's a better finished off piece of kit. So I'm going to plug that in to my Commodore 64 tape port. I can't have my 1541U2 uh, cartridge plugged in at the same time. For some reason the device doesn't work, so switch my Commodore 64 on and you'll see the green light goes on. And then we have an audio cable that comes with it as well. And the audio cable has two phono ends. So we've got one that's mono and one that's stereo. So this one with the two, two black lines is stereo and this one with the one black line on it is mono. The mono plugs into the tape device into the audio port. I'm going to plug that in now. It goes in there like that. And the other end of it I'm going to plug into my sound card in my under my PC under here. So that's going to plug in there. Um, I also got a CD that came with it. Commodore 64 tape emulator CD. So it has all the software and all the games you need. Uh, they're just standard PRG file games and T64 file. Let's put that in my CD drive. So we now have the 64 there waiting so I can do shift and run stop and it goes into load mode and then I start up the program which is called WAV PRG and I put the shortcut on my desktop comes up with this and I want to select the convert to PRG POO or T64 file to sound or tap or WAV click OK and I select sound card because I want the sound to go through my sound card I also want to invert the sound, for some reason my sound card needs the sound inverting. So if you're purchasing this product and you're running this software, try it with that on or with it off. And then click OK. Before I do load the game I'm just going to show you my sound card. I've got it on 89% volume at the moment and there's no sound effects on. Um, there's no room correction or anything, so all that stuff's taken off. It's just the standard sound. And so I'm just going to pick a game um, that I want to load from this list. Uh, so let's pick Arnie by Zeppelin and click open. So that's now converting that file to a sound audio sound file that's then coming out of my. PC sound card going up this wire and into that device. So the red light on is telling us that there's audio going through. There's the loading lines. And the game is starting to load. So a few things to remember when you are purchasing this is that when I first plugged it in I couldn't get it to work because I had the wrong end of the phono plugged in to the device. I had the stereo end in that and the mono end in my PC sound card so that red light wasn't lighting up to show that any um, sound was coming through. Once I swapped them round the red light came on the sound was coming through but for some reason the game just wouldn't load. And The reason why it wouldn't load is because of that. My ultimate cartridge so I unplug that and the device works fine. So really this, this little device is a replacement for this old beast. 
and I can you can plug any audio device you want into that. Um, I've tried a CD player, works fine. I've tried my iPod, that worked fine. I've even tried an old Walkman, Sony Walkman, and that worked fine as well. It's in like any audio device. You just have to play around with the settings, and it's mainly with the audio settings. So the game there is um, still loading. We haven't got that far to go because the indicator there tells us that it's getting close to the end of the file. Now obviously the only downside to this is some games pause as they're loading and you can't actually pause this from pushing the sound through to the sound card through to the device. Well, here we go. So that's loading, that's just decrunching. Here we go. crunch oh the crunch where's a game comes the game after the trainer. That's it. So the game has loaded. So that's Arnie. And that was loaded via that tape device. It was £20 and about £3 delivery. Came from Greece to the UK. It took a couple of weeks because of the snow and also um, Christmas. There it is. Nice little piece of kit.